what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk so guys you know I, I weighed in on this particular bishop bishop whitehead of brooklyn who is uh very ostentatious and self-aggrandizing he's very flamboyant and he got robbed on um at church on the live stream four gunmen came in and stole i've heard numbers from four hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry to a million dollars worth of jewelry okay so i've heard those things and allegedly uh, his wife was also uh, robbed in the attack and you know people at the church could have been really hurt some people don't believe that it was real that it was a fake setup thing uh based on the fact that uh, bishop whitehead has some criminal history of fraud in the past he was there for five years in new york state prison but there was an interaction between uh, bishop whitehead uh female pastor genesis War warren in atlanta an Instagram social uh, media celebrity or social media influencer, Larry Reed. Um, now, I don't really know about Larry Reed. I do know that he is uh, somewhat friends with Tasha K. Um, and allegedly, uh, according to this interaction that we're going to play, he is a, a man living the LGBT lifestyle. Um, so that's all that I do know about Mr. Larry Reed. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to play just a small snippet of the um, the interaction going on between all three of them, and then we'll come back. I don't know. Don't give me no props and laugh at me at the same time. Don't give me no props and laugh at me at the same time. Yeah, let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go there, Biggie. Let's go there, Biggie. Let's go there, Biggie. You're a liar. You're a liar. I'm a liar. Let's go. How? How am I liar, Biggie? Biggie if big, not Biggie Smalls, but you're Biggie media, big. You are quote unquote All right. bishop in the Lord's church. That's right. You have uh -huh. seen my face on your timeline before, uh -huh. and if you say you have it, you're a liar. Number I don't know two, you. I don't know you. I don't know you. I do not know you. I do not know you. But at the end of the day, when you come here and try to talk about me, and I don't, I don't know you at all. And at the end of the day, when I come on and I'm listening and I'm seeing you laughing at me, I'm sitting here, I'm laughing, you laughing at me. I don't even know you. And then Larry, you want to talk about? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Problem, hold on. And Larry, you want to sit here and talk about? Hold on, hold on, Larry. And you want to sit here? You want to? You're disrespectful, okay? You're disrespectful. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day. Larry, mm -hmm. at the end no. of the day, Larry, at the end of the day, no. I respected you. And you, you want to talk about the, uh, the, 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 the LBGT community? We had, a, we had a conversation. We had a conversation. And my position was that I preached the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'm not, if, 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 if homosexuality is an abomination. No, you're, you're God, mean. You're mean. I'm, wait, what are you talking about mean? How am I mean? You're I'm mean. not mean. You're mean. I, hold on. You're mean. No. You're me, because at the end of the day, y'all sitting here and laughing at something that four gunmen could have took my family life, and y'all sitting here making a mockery of it, all right? We are and not. This big blip right here want to sit here and talk about women, all right? And you want to sit here, and you want to sit here and validate homosexuality because you just admitted that you're a all right? That's on day. I did not tell y'all. <laughs> okay, so let me just kind of start here. Mr. Larry Reed. From what I understand, issued the invitation to Bishop Whitehead. Okay. Now, upon accepting this invitation, I believe that Bishop Whitehead felt that he was not going to be uh, made a mockery of or attacked by those on the show, and it and it seems like they didn't have any sort of uh, sort of. Um, compassion for situation or at least being sympathetic or empathetic to what happened genesis warren actually believes that he is a liar so i don't know if he was expecting that particular um, interaction but at least at some point the argument gets to something that looks, looks like biblical and i didn't see the whole thing but i'm just judging off this which is the gospel of jesus christ preaches against that of the LGBT style lifestyle. And I'm gonna just take a whim on this, women in the pulpit, okay? 
What happens when the pastor, Bishop Whitehead, was expressing his opinion about what the Bible says? Larry Reed could not combat that. What he said was, you're mean. You are mean. You're mean. And I know what people are going to say because obviously LGBTQ politics and religion are, are, are strong now. But now the, the thing that we have to go back to is what does the Bible say? What does the Bible say about it? It's not you're mean, but what does what does the Bible say? We all know what it says. We all know what it says. OK, let's leave it at that. We know what it says. But that sort of mentality is not what you hear in today's world even when you talk about what's going on in the world dating kevin samuels you know the situation with women it's never you know you're wrong what with your assessment it's about this is how you're singing it okay you're saying it this way now um obviously the bishop has some comments about the young lady's weight and what she looked like and i mean i know in roast sessions and things like that I get it, but I think what happened with that is because he felt like he was disrespected to some point that, um, you know, he felt like that was his way of recourse. But I want to talk about this as far as, you know, black men dealing with people in the public, okay? When you start calling those names, you know, let's say derogatory things about somebody's sexuality or what they look like, despite them being rude or whatever, you're going to always look bad, okay? We got to, if we're going to interact with these people and if they're being disrespectful we need to be able to control our emotions even in the face of people being rude so if they don't want to do the right thing we can say listen if you're going to sit there and act like that i'm going to leave this particular interview you are going to address me with some respect or i'm going to leave the interview so you have an option because as soon as you get into calling these names and he had some points which i felt were strong as far as, I mean, outside of the name call and things like that. But as far as what the Bible says about, you know, being alternative lifestyle, we all know what it says, right? And the guy can only come back and say that you're mean. Okay, you're mean because of what? Because I'm saying what is actually in the Bible? We have to, we, we, we have to force people to be able to say, we don't want to follow the rules as Christians. We want to do what we want to do. See, we have to be able to force people. Okay, so if that's the case with the church then, well, what about the black community? Yeah, the Free My N-Word campaigns and all this. Just say, I don't want to follow the rules. I want to do whatever the hell that I want to do. And that's that. That way we can really understand what's going on. Just say that. You don't want to follow the rules. Please, just say it. I don't want to follow the rules. It's better that way. It makes a lot of sense. I don't want to follow the rules. Okay, I want to do what the hell I want to do forever and ever. Amen. Got it. So that way for people who want to be in communities that have rules, we know who and who can who not to invite, because unfortunately you need to follow rules for something. And as you see in the black community, ain't going to be no rules in the churches, ain't going to be no rules in the communities. So certain people can't be there because it's not going to flourish. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. Check out the first cup at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out. Thank you.